Hi kids, I am back with another video of pronunciation drill. So, watch carefully and try to learn and use these words in your daily life. So, our first word is absorption. Children, it's absorption. It is the process by which one thing is absorbed by another. Like I say, the sponge has grown bigger because of the absorption of water. Word number two is accompanied. It's accompanied. It means to go with as a companion. Like I say, she accompanied me to the store. Children, it's accompanied. Word number three is alloying. Children, alloying. You might have seen this word in your science book. Children, it is a process in which two or more metals are melted together to form a specific material. Suppose if I say gold can be made more durable by alloying it with other metals. Clear? Moving to word number four, it's archipelago. Children, archipelago, archipelago, which means an extensive group of islands. Let's see its usage. In geography class, we learn that many island economies in an archipelago rely on fishing due to their location. Done. Moving to our next word. That is chaos. Children, it's chaos. C-H-A-O-S is chaos. Which means complete confusion. Means complete confusion. Like I say, the loss of electricity caused chaos throughout the city. Children, remember chaos. Next word, chores. Children, it's chores. Which means a routine task, especially a household one. Like I say, I have got some chores to do. Means I have got some household work to do. Next word is collapsed. Children, it's collapsed. Which means fall down. As I say, he collapsed and died of a heart attack. Children collapsed. Next word is congregation. Children, it's congregation, which means a gathering of people, animals, or things. Like I say, a great congregation of birds flew overhead. Next word, desperate. Children, desperate. Which means having a great need or desire for something. As I say, she is desperate to get some help. Means she is in, she is in a great need to get some help. It's desperate. Moving to our next word is crystallization. Children, again you have seen this word in your science textbooks. It's crystallization, which means the process of turning into crystals. And turning what? Turning liquid into crystals. Next word is enthusiasm. Children, it's enthusiasm, which means intense and eager enjoyment. Like I say, the student had an enthusiasm for science means he really enjoyed learning science. Next word is famine. Children, what we say famine in Hindi? It's akal. Famine, which means extreme scarcity or shortage of food. Like I say, the drought resulted in famine throughout the region. 
Next word is half hazard. Half hazard. Half hazard. Half hazard. Children, it's half hazard. Which means unplanned or random. Like I say, he tackled the problem in a half hazard manner. Means he tackled the problem in an unplanned manner. Which is not planned. It's half hazard. Next word is numerical value. Children, it's numerical value. Basically, numerical value is a mathematical term, which means a real number regardless of its sign. Okay, moving to our next word, that is inevitability. Children, inevitability, inevitability, which means Something that is certain to happen and cannot be prevented means the thing that is surely going to happen is inevitability. Like I say, it is inevitable that mistakes will occasionally occur. Next word is realm. Children, it's realm. Realm, realm, which means a field, a domain. Like I say, he made outstanding contributions in the realm of foreign affairs. Means, he made an outstanding contributions in the field of foreign affairs. Realm. Done. Moving to our next word, that means stagnant. Children, it's stagnant. In Hindi, stagnant means ruka hua. Stagnant which means showing no activity or dull. Like I say, the smell of stagnant water hung so thickly that the air was nearly unbreathable. Stagnant. Done. Moving to our next word, reverence. Children, it's reverence. Reverence means deep respect for someone or something. Like I say, with a great deal of reverence, the soldiers stared at the country's flag. Means, with a great respect, the soldiers stared at the country's flag. And our last word of the day is verify. Children, verify. Which means, to make sure that something is true. Like I say, his conclusions have been verified by later experiments. Means he have proved through his experiments that his conclusions were correct, were true. Children, it's verify. That's all. We are done for today. Thank you, kids.